Have you ever wanted to investigate the paranormal at a Civil War battle site, 1800s cabin, or a stagecoach inn? If so, plan your next vacation or paranormal investigation to Crooked Creek Civil War Museum in Vinemont, Alabama. Not into paranormal investigating, but want a beautiful country setting for a wedding, family reunion, or birthday party? Crooked Creek Museum grounds can be rented for your special occasion. This 1830s homestead cabin is located at the entrance to Crooked Creek Civil War Museum, is available to rent as a bed and breakfast. Originally located in Somerville, Alabama, this cabin was donated to Mr. Fred by the Kane family. Mr. Fred disassembled the cabin, numbering each log and board, moved it to Vinemont, Alabama, and reconstructed the 1830s cabin, adding many modern-day amenities. Ghostly apparitions and odd EMF spikes have been reported inside the cabin. Interested in holding a cannonball, Civil War rifle, sword, or pistol? For a small fee, you can do just that. Come visit Mr. Fred and his private Civil War artifact collection housed in the historic Vinemont Stagecoach Inn on the site of the Battle of Crooked Creek. It's just amazing how I had a Civil War collection and bought a battlefield. <laughs> and didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah, out in Fine Ma, Alabama. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Some of the artifacts, such as belt buckles, bullets, and buttons, have been unearthed from the actual battlefield site and may be used as trigger objects during your paranormal investigation. Ghostly apparitions, odd knocks and bangs on walls, and strange EMF spikes have been witnessed at the Vinemont Stagecoach Inn, or better known as Crooked Creek Civil War Museum. On April 30th, 1863, about 6.15 p.m., Confederate Brigadier General Nathan Bedford Forrest caught up with Colonel Abel Strait's expedition and attacked its rear guard. Thus began a running series of skirmishes and engagements at Crooked Creek. Interested in learning more? Come out and visit Mr. Fred at the Crooked Creek Civil War Museum and let him tell you the history of the Civil War battle fought here in Vinemont, Alabama at Crooked Creek. All right. So they forded there and then the Union went up around. They went up on the hill. And there's still foxholes and rifle pits on the other side oh, okay. where the Union dug in. Okay. In fact, that uh, I've got one, um, it had to have been a rifle pit or something because there's three or four different size percussion caps. Oh. And it had to have been a big, big uh, yeah. right. rifle pit. Right, right. So I don't know. And then they shot down. Well, they, they shot across out. the creek. Here. Right, right. See, exactly. this battle took place on the night of a full moon. And it was all huge, long leaf pine. Mm -hmm. So you could see real good. Yeah. Right. Because uh, nothing will come up under pine trees. No. no and pine needs right. smother it out. Oh, yeah. That's what preserved it, some of these gun pits. Right. In front of the cabin lies a mass burial site for Confederate soldiers. This terraced depression in the landscape is where the bodies of Confederate soldiers were hurriedly buried after the Battle of Crooked Creek on April 30, 1863. Ghostly apparitions have been spotted walking along the grounds of this mass burial site. As the sun goes down and darkness settles over Crooked Creek Battlefield, come out and witness the sights and sounds captured still today from the April 30th, 1863 battle that occurred on this hollowed ground. You just might experience disembodied voices, see ghostly soldier apparitions at both the Ford and Ridge Line, witness strange lights at the rifle pit, capture odd EMF spikes, hear gunfire, horses walking, or even a rebel yell. Yeah, 
They're about, what, six feet tall? About six feet tall. Thank you for standing there. I know you're in my personal space, but it's okay. Is there more than one of you here? There's about... It's like they're, squ like they're squatting down by the fire. They're squatting by the fire. Getting warm. Can you turn it on so Mr. B can see? Thank you. Can you turn it a little bit more, a little bit brighter. Is that flashlight? Yes. Yeah. And I'll just set them up. <laughs> can you turn it on? We've had two of them. Hi, Kim. We're having flashlight activity. We moved locations. Nope. Both two. flashlights yeah, now. Flashlight down, Mr. B. You watch. I'm going to try to walk around and fall and bust my butt. Can you turn the third flashlight on too? There's three of them. Can you make all three of them light up? Thank you. Could you turn one of them off for us, please? Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn the other one off? Please. Thank, Thank you. You rock. Don't worry, Kim. I have no intention of it. And I do have two nurses with me, so. Are you a union or a confederate? Gotta go one one at If you are, uh, well, we got a yes for something. Thank you. If you're, if you're a union, turn two flashlights on. If you're with the union, the United States, could you turn the second flashlight on, please? If you are a Confederate soldier, can you please turn the flashlight off? Yep. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so very much. We're doing lots of patient activity so far that we can't explain. Mm. And hopefully it will continue. This so one down here is staying on red. I mean, the power's yeah. off. So. Yeah. Yeah, the K2 down here is just hitting reds. Well, hold on a second. Why don't you take pictures towards where the K2 is going off? There's going to be three flashes. We're going to flash three times. It's so weird. What is it? I have no idea. There's glass there, so yes. it could be reflecting there. But I okay. see... I don't know. It's not my shadow because I keep going like this. That's my stomach. Okay. Is there somebody in here with us that wants to talk to us? I'm going to take more pictures this way. I'm okay. going to angle differently. Okay, I made three pictures. Here's one. Is there anybody here with us? I have no idea. I have no idea. Gabriel? Classic. Gabriel, are you here? If you're here, would you touch one of the K2? There's a flashlight. Thank you. Thank you, you Gabriel. Um, Maz is complaining her neck was hurting and um, she was up the word tongue. So we were wondering if those two went together. Would you mind turning the flashlight off so I can ask a question, please? 
Did you fight for the Union? And it's still lighting up red. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Were you in the Calvary units? Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. What? That noise outside. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Were you from Indiana? Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Were you 16 years old or are you 16 years old? Thank you. Are you happy? I heard something when you said, are you happy? Well, no. Did you die on this land? Hey, we got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. So they died on this land. Were you injured and that's why you died? Yes. Thank you. Oh, that was brief. Yeah, it was. Thank you very much. Do you have a family? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Do you need us to get a letter to your mama? Let her know you're okay? I'm not sure they're okay. Where you're at? Yes. Thank you. Interested in the paranormal or just love history? If so, be sure to come out and visit Mr. Fred Wise at Crooked Creek Civil War Museum and Battle Site in Vinemont, Alabama.